Hi, I'm Dirty from Cinecam, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create an epic eye zoom effect like this. Now, this is a shot from my latest short film, Entanglement, which is about a guy, well, getting zoomed into the eye. I don't want to spoil anything, so go check it out first. Now, big thanks to Adobe for the collaboration on this project as well. Now, we've got this shot here at slow motion, but you don't have to do that per se. Important is that your talent tries to stand still and look straight into the lens. We're going to take multiple shots of his eye, each time closer. You can zoom in or move the camera closer. And if you have the ability to shoot on a macro lens for the final shot, then definitely do that. In Adobe After Effects, start with the normal shot. From the tracker window, click on Track Motion and make sure that Position, Rotation and Scale is enabled. Now, unless you're really sure that the talent's face is not rotating or moving closer and further away from the lens. Now, place these two tracking points on something with contrast in the face and then hit Track Forward. After Effects will do the tracking and once done, create a new null object and make sure that the target is set to that layer from the tracker window. We can then hit Apply. The null object will now follow the movement of the talent's head. We can now insert the next clip into the comp. Set its opacity to 50% so that we can downscale, rotate and reposition the clip to match the eye. Once it sits in place, set the opacity back to 100 and parent the clip to the null object which holds the tracking data. In this way, the clip will follow the movement of the talent. Now, of course, this looks weird, so we're going to grab the pen tool to draw a rough mask around the eye. Try to take in as big as possible area though. And of course, feather it a bunch. And this is a process that we're going to do for every clip. So bring in the next clip, align it to the eye and draw a mask. And this time go a little bit closer around the eye. With about three or four shots, we have enough. The preparations are done. We can now start the epic zoom. For that, create a new null object and call it zoom. Place that null exactly on the pupil of the eye. And since everything is already linked to the tracking null, we can just parent that null to the zoom, as well as the bottom layer, which is the main clip. Now, if we scale up the zoom layer, we are crashing into the eye. And because we have an extreme close-up of this eye, the image stays sharp. And this is the whole reason why we're stacking these different shots. So we can go ahead now and animate that scale property. If you like, so we can also animate the rotation and the position. Additionally, you can also jump into the curves editor to make the zooming start smooth and go faster over time. And that gives you a zoom like this. In our case, we notice that the extreme close-up is moving a bit too much. This is simply fixed by selecting that layer and going back into the tracker window from which we can stabilize the motion. Now only the position is fine this time. Pin it to a contrast rich area, track forward and hit apply. And that's how you can do a crazy eye zoom effect with Adobe After Effects. Now we also added a text on the eyeball. Basically you just track the movement of the eye and pin the text to it that you want to blend in. But that's optional, maybe you want to do something completely different. I hope you learned something new today guys. Definitely make sure to watch my short film Entanglement and if you travel to the description down below, you'll find a playlist with more tutorials from my shorts. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay creative.